guys. It is so good to be with you again. I've been in Alberta all summer and I've done such fun things, but I've been missing you. I can't wait to hear about what you did this summer. It will be so cool to see you and hear about stuff. I did things like, oh my, I went swimming and paddle boarding and hanging out with my grandchildren. The big ones like to go golfing. The little one just likes to crawl around and start talking. She's just turned one year old. I had so much fun with them. And I had fun with my old mo with my mama. She's still living, but she's not very well. But I could sit with her and talk with her and pray with her. It was very, very cool to be there with everybody. Now it's the coolest thing to be back here with you. So pretty soon I'll get to see you. And I hear that you have been learning lots of stuff this summer. In, on Sundays at church, you've been hearing about heroes in the Bible. And at camp, I heard you had the most amazing time at camp. Fun songs, fun activities, Bible stories. I'm so jealous that I wasn't there. But I heard it was lots of fun and I want to hear all about it. So today I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about a shield. A shield of faith. A while back we learned about this in Sunday school and it was really fun. I don't know if you remember, but we made these shields. We sang a song about putting on the armor and we made these shields. So I want to just do a little bit of a review of what we did this, what you did this summer and kind of tie it all together about shields. So do you remember somebody that you learned about this summer that might have been carrying a shield? Okay, it was somebody in the Old Testament. Let me see. Uh, somebody that met with a little young guy and the young guy was carrying a sling and the, the big giant guy, what was his name? Goliath. Let's see if we can find it in our Bibles, okay? I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it. It's in the purple books, and it's in a book that has one and two, First Samuel. So if you look for First Samuel, I don't know if you have your colored Bibles at home, but let's take a look for First Samuel, and then big number 17, and let's look at little number seven. Now, do you think that this giant, giant named, oh, what was his name? Goliath. Do you think that he carried a spear and a sword and a big giant shield? Well, it's kind of a trick because he didn't actually carry his own shield. He had somebody else carrying his giant shield for him. So let's look at little number seven. His spear was as big as a weaver's rod. This is like about, it's very, it's as high as the ceiling probably. A big, big spear. It's iron point, weighed 15 pounds. Can you imagine if you had 15 stacks of butter and it would be, that's how, that's how much would weigh, just the point of it. It was a big, heavy deal. And then it says, the man who carried his shield walked along in front of him. So it was a giant shield that only one guy would carry in front of him. There was another guy that carried a shield. He wasn't, well, there were quite a few that were known to be mighty men of God. This guy was a mighty man in an army and he had a problem with his skin and a little girl came and told him, what he needed to do to be healed because she had so much faith. She had enough faith for herself and for him. And she told him all about how to do it to get healed. Do you remember this story? It was about a guy named Naaman. Here's the picture. Now you can see that he was a mighty man. Look at little maid, how little she is. And she's telling him, and she's telling Mrs. Nam and, and Mr. Naaman about this man of God that can heal them. You see his shield that he's carrying? It's a round one. So sometimes they're different shapes. Sometimes they're round and sometimes they have points like this. 
So we're going to make one in a few minutes. But remember this story about how much faith the little girl had? And then Naaman had to have enough faith that he would go in the river. At first, he was mad. He didn't want to go dunking in the dirty river seven times, right? But then his men, his soldiers said to him that he could do it. And so in he went and he dunked and he was healed. So he had a round shield. Now, if you want to look for that one, that's in 2 Kings, little number five. And you will see the story about Naaman and how he was healed. Let's skip over now to the shield of faith. And we're going to make the shield right now. So these guys carried shields, but you get to carry a shield too. It might be invisible, but it is not pretend. It's really real. Your faith in God is really real. So here's what you do to make a, a faith, a shield of faith to remind you about the shield of faith that you carry. You can cut one out. You can make one like this, cut it just out of paper or cardboard if you have it. It will be cool. And then I'm sure your mom and dad have some of this tinfoil in their cupboard. And then you just cover it up with tinfoil, kind of careful like that. Cover it all up. And you make a little hole. You might need some help from your mom and dad with the scissors. And you make a little hole. Make a little hole here. Whoop, whoop. My goodness, the scissors is flying around. Okay. And then you make a little hole. And then you can put your hand through there. Okay. You can do it carefully, carefully. You make it a really nice shield. Whatever shape you like. And then put your hands through there and you have your own shield that you guys can play with. And um, it can remind you about the shield of faith that we carry. We're so full of faith, it's in the inside of us. And the more we practice it and the more we use it, the bigger it grows. It's, it's just an amazing thing. Even when you're a grown up, your faith needs to keep growing and growing and growing. It's a cool thing. I wanna pray with you before we go, okay? Let's put our hand in our Bibles. Let's open up our Bibles again and put your hands on the story of the faith of the little girl and Naaman, okay? So in 2 Kings, you can pause it if you want for a second and find 2 Kings. And let's put our hands on God's Word. This Word is so precious. It tells us so many great stories. Okay, put your hands on the Word. Dear God, we thank you so much for your Word. And the stories about faith. We're so, so thankful. And God, I pray that you be with all the kids as they go back to school. That they will have lots and lots of faith inside. That you will protect them. And that they will hold up their invisible shield of faith. Whenever they feel like there's a bad word coming their way or anything like that. That they would have the faith to hold it up. And I just pray your blessing on every kid. And uh, be with them all this week in a really precious way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. See you next week.